Darren Benton again with Performance Motor Coaches. It's Friday afternoon. It's kind of a two-part video. We did this video, I don't know, maybe about four or five weeks ago. Uh, this coach had just come to us from show all We brought it down. Uh, we've done all the additions. Don't fall in love with too many of the additions we've done because we're not going to do them anymore. But uh, it really turned out really cool. Uh, the, the buyer uh, definitely had a little bit a uh, little bit further vision than what we had with some of the contrast on colors because it really turned out awesome the you know we've done some different things inside that we've never done in the past that I can assure you we will do in the future uh, just because uh, you know we were we were just kind of simply scared but anyway this is a 2022 show hauler uh, this is one of the four-wheel drive models luckily we are the only people that can deal in the four-wheel drive so you'll have to come to us and Wolfworth America to come get a 4x4. We build them on a few different chassis, predominantly the Freightliner M2 and the International HV507. Those are factory, factory equipped 4x4 trucks, so you don't have to get any kind of aftermarket conversion. That's the reason why we like them. So serviceability, warranty, kind of one-stop shopping. So we'll kind of just break into it. Uh, we did one before that I would have sworn was the same color. We had them side by side, and they are not the same color. Uh, but I will actually like this one a little bit more. It has more of a white or blue tinge to it. The other has more of a tan tone. The cool thing about this color, it goes, it'll go white, it'll go gray, it'll go blue, it'll go so many different colors, kind of depending upon high light, low light. But it turned out great. The bumper turned out great as well. It had no need for a winch up front. Additionally, this customer requested some of the, uh, some of the crash avoidance the adaptive cruise um, so it would have been a little difficult to accommodate all that uh, and furthermore he really didn't need a winch but uh, this is one of the few internationals that i know probably in the country that has all of the safety features in it uh, the lane departure warning uh, the crash mitigation and the adaptive cruise turned out really cool i'm going to try to flip over this hood Did a little something different with that V shaped in there. So that comes down over the top of that guy. So you don't, there's nothing to have to tilt forward at all because that grill stays in the place. Decided to kind of color match the grill here. So that's a color feature from International and we just matched the bumper there. Some of the rigid dually lights I uh, flushed in that bumper front and rear there. All the emission stuff is in place there. We'll go quickly through the storage compartment. All top swings is the only thing we'll do on the four wheel drives. Just kind of make them a little bit more rugged. A big combined storage compartment right there. So if you had some skis or a long ladder, afford you a little bit more storage right there. Uh, the the inverter is right up front there and it does have some lithium. We'll cruise around the other side of it. Check all that stuff out. 50,000 BTU, is, that is a Chinook uh, from ITR heater there. This is a, a, like additional storage right here. So if you had some, like, there again, you know, some skis or something like that, you could put underneath there. Did opt for the big 40,000 pound hitch. We've actually got to do a little modification to this to accommodate some bike racks uh, later on this afternoon, but it's definitely been a race to try to get everything done. Uh, this particular rig we did, uh, it has three inch foam board below the floor. All the walls and all the ceilings are spray foamed, but we did one step further and we actually spray foamed the complete underside of it. Spray foam it, do a coating on that, and then do an undercoating on top of that. So it's been a lot the last few days, but the end is near. Uh, the customer is here, so he is here, and he is happy. So so just your transfer switch right there. Um, customer is going to be boondocking quite a bit, so we didn't have any need for electric cord reel there. Wet bay here. So this will, these will stop right here because of your slide. It's like a kind of a two position. So the wet bay right here, I don't know if you can catch this guy. Really, really simple. There's not too much to uh, have to learn to operate. If you need to fill your tanks, you put those guys up. And then if you want to use city pressure, you put that guy up right there. There's a little spray port to be able to wash a dog off. 
it couples with that and that's where you connect your uh, your hose right there and then there's a black flush right there for your black 272 gallon uh, gray one, one gray and one black and there's a hydronic register right back there uh, whenever the unit is, is circulating it will keep that warm and then there is a thermostat that's built into that um, so it will activate a little fan there if it drops below 43 degrees inside this compartment so customers planning on using it in really cold environments that's the reason why i opted for the hydronic register and additionally for the um all the spray foam underneath standard 8k generator right here more than enough power to be able to operate the coach um, the kind of the idea is just some more redundancy yes we've got lithium yes we've got solar um, yes we've got you know a decent size inverter but to be able to run both air conditioners you really need to utilize that generator there we're pretty much maxed out on batteries right there if the customer decides he wants some additional we can accommodate some more inside um, or perhaps on the other side but there's two 270 amp hour batteries right there which is a fair amount of lithium on board did a coat like a bed type coating lining on the fuel tank here in the very front of the conversion and then all the steps here 100 gallon fuel tank I think it's about a 14 gallon def tank there pretty easy entry into the cab there is a little chassis disconnect right there the first one of these we did uh, it was I think it was called like a black cherry so it had some some red tones to it this was just solid black and gray here Go ahead and lock that before I forget it. And we'll cruise around here. But I mean, it's a monster. It's It gets lots of attention. That's kind of the cool thing about selling these guys is people love to see them. Uh, we take them sometimes just lo locally, some car shows, and people, people go nuts over these things compared to some really ultra high-end cars. Get all these things closed up. I kind of forgot to highlight a little bit. Uh, I figured if you probably watch this, you'd kind of know how show haulers are built. So this is one of the few units out there on the market that's fully welded steel frame. So the entire uh, the entire cage assembly is welded the frame of the truck. It's then uh, they use uh, a plywood material on the inside. They spray foam everything, and then they adhere all the 063 aluminum. All these panels right here are adhered with uh, 3M double-sided tape, so it allows those panels to move a little bit when it gets hot and cold or just a little bit of a movement uh, out on the road itself. Just simple style awning right here. It's probably the most forgiving in any kind of wind. So lots of utility in mind on this guy. Super wide entry steps here. You can see here the slide is in the in position right now. There's still a fair amount of room to be able to access everything here. I'm going to go ahead and run the slide out. Out. So interior wise we used a stark white vinyl here. We typically use that on the ceilings but very seldom do we use that stark white on the walls itself and so that's one thing that we did but I really think it turned out turned out really cool. We did a few of the cabinets once we get flipped around here. We went ahead and painted those in-house here. Uh, we, we got the coach, uh, everything, all these in raw. Of course, all the countertops are a butcher block, uh, and these are raw as well. So we'll get those sealed up later on. But the customer, we get some of this mess laid out, put it around. So there's a, there's just some filler cushions. You got some filler cushions right here that are designed to go in this opening right here for really, really cold or really hot environments. And then that other filler cushion right there is actually designed to pop right in here. So there again, really hot environments, really cold environments. Be able to keep that hatch closed off. It does get pretty hot at times, or it does get pretty cold. So. And then those two additional go there and that's a little cushion for the back i think this is a 54 inch bunk over right here uh, so a little bit smaller than a queen size bed tv right there does not have any kind of uh, satellite on board but it does have a pep wave router here so it's a cell based router um, that will accommodate up to two sim cards so a fair amount of coverage all the way across the unit all across the united states 
pretty happy with all of the hardware this one we did have to totally disassemble but just everything's nice and nice and neat and very very simple we'll get flopped around here we originally used this um, portion of this for the sink covers they kind of rattled a little bit so we went back and redesigned these guys so it doesn't match perfectly but they sit on there a little bit better and should rattle quite a bit less going down the road all maple cabinetry of course it's maple cabinetry down there but this is just this just has a clear coat on top of that all the drawers are all dovetail construction and then all soft close So a decent sized little galley here. Be able to put like a small trash can there. A fair amount of pots and pans in this guy. And then both of the cushions, uh, or both of the dinette portions open up to be able to accommodate some additional cookware and items. So fair amount of room. This is only a 24 foot box. So it's a, this is definitely a smaller box. You know, people talk about 24 foot travel trader. I mean, that's super, super tiny. So uh, for show haulers, it's definitely a smaller unit, but there's a ton of room in here. You know, you'd be, be able to accommodate basically two different seating, you know, sitting areas and th three different sleeping areas if this was convertible. This is not convertible, but basically got your upper, you got this, and then this back as well. We'll go ahead and roll back here. Kind of a highlight here. Uh, so this is a convertible piece right here that goes down in the, in the down position. Let me get this thing flipped around. I need to get the cushions back a little bit further. There we go. And then that filler cushion will go in place. That that piece right there will go in here, so it's, you have some, some additional width. Uh, this can you can do this several different ways. So you can sleep this way, um, you know, from front to back or side to side, and the cushions will come out. You can you can be able to sleep too without pulling the cushions out if you needed to. But there again, a fair amount of room here. Nice view all the way across here. So they'll use this as their sleeping area. Um, but if they have some some additional guests, they'll have a you know more uh, seating area as well. So decent sized closets there, wardrobes. We shipped all the Valance legs loose in case the customer didn't want them back here. So just kind of a matter of preference if he doesn't want those. Pocket door in place here. And does have a single washer dryer here. All in one. This was a little strange. We'll probably be moving this because the customer didn't want a safe, but I don't know if he wanted to take up his entire closet with a safe. So we might be moving that left or right here in a bit once the customer goes through it. Let's figure out a way for me to get in the bathroom. So I'm going to go in the bathroom, close the door, and then we'll open it back up here in a second. So here we are. Uh, this being a you know, a bathroom just on one one entire portion of the coach. It's definitely a little bit slimmer. Uh, it's kind of a way to be able to um, have more privacy. So, you know, we get people that kind of have certain preferences one way or the other. Uh, the bathroom is smaller, but it's, you know, gives you a lot more privacy. So there's a fair amount of room in here for me to sit down on the throne, uh, be able to, you know, even the shower itself is relatively large. I'll plop in here. I'm about 200 pounds, about six foot tall, so there's a fair amount of room inside this shower, not an issue there. And I did not, we did not offer any kind of a skylight there again. It always seems like they're always leaking. Seems like you let a lot of heat in as well. So I'll get this thing plopped back. The kitchen, I forgot to talk about the Vitfrigo fridge. So this is a 12 volt compressor refrigerator right here. Um, what I like about them is they cool incredibly fast. Uh, it's only eight cubic foot, but uh, you know, from somebody that's lived in various RVs at di different times, you don't need uh, that much refrigerator space in my opinion. You have a whole bunch of junk in there that you can really throw away. So uh, this particular customer, uh, I can assure is gonna be eating a lot of fresh food. So it doesn't need a ton of storage for 
20 different ranches and 20 different mustards so that seems to what happens a lot of times in the refrigerator so cool setup 12 volt compressor uh, very very little power to take it op and operate that guy and the fact that you can cool it down within about 20 30 minutes it's been a whirlwind uh, I'm, I'm glad the coach is is complete we'll get everything set with the customer later on but just kind of wanted to let everybody see a finished product uh, with all the varying colors um, I'm sure we're going to get a lot of requests. We've gotten a lot of requests for white cabinets in the past. We're just not able to accommodate them. We're just, it's, it was basically the entire service crew shutting down for two days to be able to get all this done. But I love the way it turned out. Definitely happy for the new owner. Hope he's happy with the unit as well. Uh, make sure you guys keep on checking this out. <clears throat> Sorry, my I got a little bit of less wind in my sails because we've been working so hard on this but uh just wanted to just kind of share this with you guys but appreciate you guys always coming out uh watching the videos liking tagging and subscribing it definitely helps our business so appreciate your time